again, everyone, it's Garrett with AlphaMD. Um, we're talking today about Trestolone. Trestolone uh, is a very popular uh, steroid that's out there. And uh, again, we've had several questions regarding it. So um, the specific question about Trestolone that was asked um, was regarding Trestolone decanoate, which is uh, an, a longer acting ester. So we're going to address that specifically. Um, but more generally, what is Trestolone? Not everyone's heard about it. Um, obviously, it sounds like testosterone. So as you can imagine, um, it is uh, a steroid hormone. It was originally designed um, in the 1960s. So it's been around for a while. Um, ultimately, uh, it was uh, found not to be uh, as useful as uh, I guess they originally thought. And so it, for a while, there was no studies on it or anything um, until about the 90s. They uh, started looking at it again, specifically uh, with the goal uh, for a male birth control. <clears throat> and uh, we do know that uh, Trestolone works very well as a male birth control. In fact, it is more suppressive of natural testosterone production and natural um, sperm production than testosterone is. So um, more so than, than testosterone, uh, like significantly more. So it is a very, very good birth control for men. Um, it uh, is also very beneficial for um, uh, muscle growth, uh, bone density, uh, virility, all that. Um, so it does seem to be a good option for birth control for men. It it does uh, suppress, again, natural testosterone production. However, uh, the compound does attach to the androgen receptors in the same fashion testosterone does. So uh, ultimately, this is one compound that uh, technically does not need to also be supplemented with testosterone. Um, because it has the same effect. Um, and again, right now it's being studied to be used on its own uh, for male birth control um, in a way that won't uh, leave men feeling hypogonadal because we've shut off their um, uh, HBTA axis. And so <clears throat> um, it is a very short half-life. Uh, um, and uh, typically you'll find Restalone. Um, uh, acetate as the most commonly found one, but uh, uh, there are some newer um, esters, including uh, Trestolone decanoate. Um, the half-life of Trestolone decanoate is about 15 days. Um, so uh, instead of having to inject daily, uh, ideally you would be able to inject um, once weekly. And so um, it is becoming more popular for that reason. Um, uh, as with any longer acting ester, um, typically it also means that uh, it takes longer to feel any beneficial effect. So, um, you know, it may take several weeks really before you really start to notice, you know, any effect from it. Whereas uh, the shorter acting esters, um, you often feel the effects rather quickly. Um, uh, and again, uh, Personally, I, I'm a fan of shorter acting esters, mainly, especially with newer medicines, if you've never tried a medication before, um, because if you do get side effects, you can stop the medication and within a few days, all the side effects are gone. The downside to uh, something like Trestolone decanoate, uh, it can be in your system. Again, uh, uh, it takes, remember, it takes five half-lives to be out of your system. So... Uh, whatever five times 15 is, that's what, two and a half months? Since your last shot, two and a half months from your last shot, it will remain in your system. So uh, just bear that in mind if you do choose to jump straight to um, uh, uh, a tre trembolone uh, decanoate, you're guaranteeing that if you have side effects or ill effects, you're going to have to live with them for several months. With that in mind, if again, uh, based on this question, if you've never had uh, any experience with Trestolone, I think you'd be a fool to um, uh, jump straight to a longer acting ester. I would recommend you see how you do 
on a, a shorter ester like acetate or cypionate, any of those. Um, uh, but if you're going to jump straight to decanoate, um, you better hope that you're somebody who doesn't get side effects that um, uh, don't work well for you or your life. Um, just uh, as a bit of a um, caveat, uh, bear in mind, um, Trestalone is uh, not something that can be currently prescribed. Um, it's still a considered um, a medication for research purposes only. Um, you won't find a whole lot of human-based studies. Um, there are plenty of animal studies. Um, it does seem to be safe. Um, one of the interesting things about uh, Trestalone is um, it does not in any way convert to DHT. Um, so there is some benefit to that if you're someone who struggles with, you know, um, DHT-related side effects, um, which is interesting. Um, uh, you know, it is a uh, in the family of the 19 nors. Um, so um, uh, it is possible to have some kind of DHT related side effects, but uh, it does actually convert a fair amount to estrogen. Um, uh, so it aromatizes. So most men who are on Trestalone uh, do need uh, an aromatase inhibitor because it does convert uh, apparently more than um, testosterone does. So that's one thing to, to bear in mind. Um, uh, other than that, again, um, really all the uh, data you're gonna get about uh, Trestalone is typically just related more to um, anecdotal reports because like I said, um, uh, you really can't get this uh, medication uh, prescribed currently. So, um, you know, as you, as you know, if you're, if you're searching to, to use something like this, you're using it uh, where you're basically the guinea pig. So just be mindful, you know, um, if, if you do choose to um, experiment with, with really any medication that you find online that is not prescribed by your doctor. Um, so uh, again, to answer this question specifically, uh, yes, Trestalone decanoate can be used. Uh, Half-life's 15 days. If you've never used Trestalone before, um, I would certainly recommend trying a shorter ester first, uh, just to be sure that you um, don't suffer significant side effects. Um, last thing I'll say is anecdotally, most people who do take Trestalone still take a base of testosterone with it. Um, although that is not considered necessary, at least based on the our understanding of how Trestalone works, as it attaches to the exact same receptors as testosterone. Um, uh, it is still kind of common practice for those who use um, these types of compounds to also still stack it with uh, a base of testosterone. Um, again, that's still anecdotal, but um, uh, something to be aware of. So uh, if you have any other questions regarding Trestalone, you know, feel free to, to ask us. Um, uh, you can message us at uh, alphamd.org. Uh, otherwise, um, if you have any other uh, questions regarding any other compounds, we're happy to answer it as best we can um, and just stay tuned for more videos in the future.